Dinosaurs. So guys, welcome to episode one of my new single player let's play. I skipped the whole world starting bit because I never like recording the world starting bit. I mean it's it's just there's there's no really way to differentiate the world starty bit from any other world starty bit um, other than to die instantly, which I don't like doing. I haven't died yet, which I'm pretty impressed by. Um, I know I impressed myself a lot. So I just started a potato farm here. Um, you guys saw a bit of this in my update video. Actually, this is, I'm recording this a tiny bit after my update video, so you guys have seen most of it, actually. Um, so this is going to be my little starter base area. I want to continue the these around so the ones on this side will be built into the side of the hill here which I think will be really neat um, potatoes will be our main food source for the time being and I hear a zombie uh, we have a bed we have wool for bed now which is really cool I went exploring um, so we can sleep away the night which is awesome um, I do want to find a dark oak forest because that would make my day very happy. Um, I don't really think we're going to go the whole infinite, like get a bunch of diamonds. I really just want to build and if getting diamonds helps me build, then I will go and spend time strip mining. But until then, I kind of just want, I really like the uh, sort of the theme I have going on here. So essentially, this is going to be like an, a, a little abode. It's going to be an abode. Which is another word for starting house. Um, <laughs> so yes, this is going to be my start. Let me get a bucket. I, I really don't mind the flowers too much, but I don't mind like a little bit of flowers. But this is just like all the flowers. And I'm like, no flowers. Stop it. And of course, water is the best way of getting rid of these things. There's a lot of them. Like it's kind of crazy. I did. I was contemplating um, an idea a while back to build a dye farm base thing with all that would feature all the two high flowers, and I just never really got around to doing it. I think I might. Yeah, I'm sorry, excuse me. I might do that on the next. Um, is it going to be a new season? Because I only had eight uh, eight episodes out and. That wasn't. I don't think it's. It's just gonna be a map reset, so it's not gonna be a new season. Um, 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 um I'm gonna say um a lot because I am incapable of comprehending the speech of words. Um, yeah, I, I can be British occasionally. It's a thing. But, furthermore, I really do like this. I'm gonna go gather a lot of oak wood, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I kind of wanted to take this um, moment cave in here to explain kind of what I wanted this series to be. Oh cool, look at that. Um, we found a thing. Um, let's just check what this is real quick. Yes! Skeleton. That's a yes and a oh no, skeleton. But um, anyways, um, most of the series I do will be more of a let's do things kind of series. So that'll be... Ow! Ow! You can die. Okay. Um, yeah, but most of the things, the series that I do will be let's do things series. Like Omni Slabs is more of a, hey, I built this kind of... Um, Dang it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, yeah, Omni Slabs is more of a, hey, I built this kind of series. Um, I don't need those. One second. Yeah, but, um, this, I want it to be more of a talkie. Um, just because I really haven't had a series where I can just sort of record and play. Um, most of the series that I've done have been either spend a lot of time building 
spend a lot of time doing this, spend a lot of time off camera, etc. This one, I kind of just want to play and record. Kind of like my first um, Let's Play season, I actually only did one. That was my first time um, doing it. I played on the mine on the Xbox version of Minecraft, and I only did one cut. Everything else was all on camera, which I thought, you know, after after that, I was like, okay, there's some things that I shouldn't do. I'm pretty sure I spent an entire episode strip mining, um, but I was able to commentate over it, which was kind of it was interesting and fun for me. Really, I liked it. I enjoyed doing it. Golden apple in your face, Ant Venom. Um, name tag sweet. Yeah, that's you know. Do I have food? <laughs> Do I have food? Maybe. <laughs> but um, I do really enjoy playing. Uh, the game. Sorry if you hear some clicking. Uh, I do have a mic stand now, so that should help a lot of it. Or a lot of the um, key keyboard sounds you shouldn't be able to hear. Um, you either shouldn't a shouldn't be able to hear them, or b should they should be very quiet. Um, if they aren't, then I'm just gonna have to go get a new keyboard or something cheap. I'm not going for anything expensive. I'm going to aim to save up um, money. Now, the thing with the, with um, college is I do have a full scholarship as long as I keep my grades up at the college that I'm going to. I'm not going to list it because then you'd be able to d identify um, where I live. So, all, all I'll say is it is a um, four-year university. It's cool. It's got some, um, my, and it's got a nice architecture program. So, yeah. Um, other than that, this, um, with college, I, since I have the full scholarship, and when I'm doing the job, I'm actually going to have an opportunity to gain an income over college, which was one of my goals. Um, so that's going to be really cool. Now, the hard thing I'm going to, is obviously going to be balancing between college and work and hobbies and stuff. Of course, there I'll probably, after I start, I'll probably um, just make a schedule um, and try to allocate my time based on that. Which, you know, shouldn't be too difficult. It should, maybe it'll take a few um, minutes since I already have my class schedule and everything. I, I, I know how much time I'm going gonna to dedicate to that, which is a lot. I will go to school every, every day a week. Except for Saturday and Sunday, of course. So, yeah, um, with that, the opportunity to actually gain an income over college is something that a lot of people don't get, um, at least from what I hear on the news. Everyone is always like, oh, college students are in debt, oh, college students don't have jobs, stuff like that. So I'm fairly fortunate so far from, uh -oh, from what I've, um, from what I've seen, who knows, it could all be a giant um, hullabaloo, but you know, you just never know. So you gotta be on your toes and stuff. Oh, whoa! Um, I have one bread and some uh, beef. Uh oh, oh crap. Okay, so with that, the as well as I own opportunity, what was I going to say? But um, with that, I'm probably going to end up saving all. Or I'm not going to be able to save all because I'm commuting, so I have to spend money on on gas to get to the college. Parking's free, but um. So after I subtract that money out. I should, if I continue working throughout college, which I will have to do, um, just, you no, know, it's just something, I don't want to go that long without generating any money, um, 
because then I won't have anything. I won't have anything financially to, you know, establish myself with. So, oh crap, 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 Okay. Um. So with the college and the job, I'll be able to financially support myself after college at least for a good while. I man. Oh, why'd I do that? Getting pretty lucky so far. More iron, another saddle, backpacks please. I want a backpack. That would be nice to have a backpack. Um, but, anyways, back to that, what I should be able to do if I continue working even part-time and, um, save my money for, you know, just spending it on commuting and such, I should have enough money afterwards to look at a house to buy. Um, which should be pretty cool, or an apartment or something. I really don't like the idea of renting. It's just something that's always been off-putting to me, having to spend as much money as you'd have to pay for a mortgage on a house and not owning anything. It's kind of like property tax. I really don't like property tax, you know, and you can't get around that either. Like, you, if you buy a piece of property that's worth, say, $60,000, if you every that property will be taxed and it's not like a one-time tax sort of like it's not like a sales tax it's a um property tax so you have to pay monthly kind of like a mortgage and over time that tax will go up so eventually you'll just continually have to pay tax on the land you own which is kind of silly because if you do not pay that tax then the government can take the land from you so even though you spent sixty thousand dollars on the piece of land you can't own it, which I find really annoying. Um, one of the things I, I like like um, a lot is ownership of things. It's something, you know, I mean, who doesn't like owning something like, I own this, or, you know, that, I want to be able to say that, and with, like, if I buy a piece of land or whatever, I'm not really going to be able to say that <laughs> all too much. Um... <laughs> I'm trying to not say, um, it's, it's difficult. Maybe I can just be like the president and be like, er, well, you see, my fellow, but nah. Okay, anyway, I'm not gonna go all political. Um, that was pretty much, oh, come on, you stupid thing. Um, yeah, don't like the idea of property tax. It's always been off-putting. Um, but with the money, it, I mean, that'll be a good amount to actually start, you know, doing things, <laughs> at least to be in terms of adultness. Um, I did it again. You guys need to count how many times I say I'm in this video, if you do so and um, stick around for this long. But, yeah, I really do, um, I like talking about things. If you guys can't tell, that's sort of what I want this series to be, is a talking about things, which I kind of just did. Um, I'll, I'll be building things, of course, but, you know, sometimes I'll just be caving like this because I need the resources, or... Oh, I found a dark oak forest, by the way, but this was more of a talking about, talking about real-life things, in a way. Which I think some of you might enjoy, some of you might not. It will only be for this series. I didn't want to do... Um, recently, I've been watching some of the, you know, the greats, such as Mr. Good, and I really enjoy his, his he does, um, Torch Tuesdays, which is kind of like where he goes around, torches the perimeter of his world, and then talks about things that are going on in his life. And 
I I enjoy them a lot, so I was kind of hoping I could do the same thing here, and I was going to cook that piece of steak. Or not the same thing, but you know, have be able to talk in my episodes. But what I didn't like was that the fact that he was doing it on Minecraft, which is you know, like it's got a actually that's fine. I don't mind that at all, really. I mean, it's his series. It probably it started out just him talking about his life, and it shouldn't have to change from that. Uh, just because, yeah, I'm cool with that. I just didn't want my main series to be, um, because I have sort of built up my channel to not be a talky video, a talky, um, channel, like, after the, um, first Let's Play. <laughs> got a pumpkin on my head. After the first Let's Play I did... I, I sort of real, realized by watching other people um, do their last plays, like, you know, maybe I shouldn't strip mine for an episode on camera and stuff, which is good, I learned that, but um, I, it sort of, I overthunk it, and I did the um, whole, let's do everything off camera type thing, which I don't really like doing. I like showing things on camera, I, like, I do like talking to you guys. My, one of my favorite things and yes, I am using um, a bit of incorrect grammar here. Deal with it. It's my talky episodes. I can do what I want. But, yeah, I really do like um, talking to you guys. Some, reading the comments are some of my favorite things I do. Now, I'm probably rambling a lot here, but deal with it, because it's my talky episodes. I don't, gotta, I don't gotta build. I mean, I'm going to, because it's something I enjoy doing. Basically, what started me building things would be, it would have to be when I was very young, probably, I, I was pretty little, um, and I think it was Legos, I think my grandma got me a Lego set, like the Duplo, because I would have eaten the, the tiny ones, and I just put them together, I always like putting things together. Then, of course, we redid the basement of my current house, uh, my, my old parents' house, rather. And my uncle's a carpenter, so he does floors and molding, mainly. And what hap what he and he came over to help us redo the thing, the, uh, <laughs> the thing, the basement. And I had my little toy Home Depot hammer and stuff. I had a Home Depot apron. I'm going over to the... Um, they, they had this little shop you could go to at, well, it was Home Depot, but they had this little wood shop you could go to every, like, Saturday or something, and you could, and my dad used to take me there, and we used to build whatever little set they had, and by we, I mean him while I just hit things with a plastic hammer, <laughs> but I still remember it being fun. That's all that matters, really, but I had, like, my little safety goggles and stuff like that, so after that, I started building them myself. I recently, um... In high school, I did. I went to a technical school, so I did carpentry as my tech area. So, I actually we actually built a house there, and we shipped it to. We built a house in collaboration with Habitat for Humanity, and we and we ended up shipping it to a local. Because we built it on trailers, so we were able to ship it down the road. Um, but we ended up shipping it to. A local street, I'm not gonna say the street obviously because it's close to where I live, and now people are actually gonna live in the house, which is really cool. It was something I was really proud to be a part of. You know, I should probably craft myself some armor. Go hat. But, um, building that, I kind of realized my interest in not only building things, but designing things, So I had to design a few parts of the house, uh, mainly technical stuff, because stuff was moved around without um, people notifying us beforehand, so we had to change a lot of things in the plan. But, oh crap, I just wasted my last steak. All I have now is the golden apple. <laughs> um, it's blue. Are they always blue? I don't think so. 
So, one of the th house changey things build, what was I thinking? So when I was doing that, um, a architect came to our school to come see the program because he was pretty um, impressed by, by it. He heard about it, came to see it. I got to show him around the school and um, show him our program, the house that was barely built. We just I just finished doing the floors. It was me and my friend Zach who were primarily working on it at the time. It was a very small class because everyone freshman and sophomore year um, left the tech area because they didn't get to work on the house because it was a junior and senior project type thing. But um, so it was primarily just you know floor, um, not even floorboards. We hadn't put in the floorboards yet. It was um, joists. So pretty much the f the frame of the floor with some some insulation put in. We didn't put in all of it um, at the time. So he came to see that, and I had shown that, and I had a portfolio ready, which showcases all my work. I did a lot of work with Google SketchUp and some other um, programs that are architecture related and he was pretty impressed by it even though looking back at it now it was it was really bad work um, it was stuff I did in like middle and early high school and looking back at it now it was um it was poor to the current work standard I can do and he actually hired me for an internship last summer which was fun that was back when I was doing videos with Klaus and those guys. Um, Klaus is being silly right now. I'm not going to talk about him though, um, just because I don't. He doesn't really know what he's doing at the moment um, with YouTube, at least. I'm sure he knows what he's doing in the rest of the world. But um, yeah, that series of that part of my channel was kind of the. Let's just play mini games and record them type thing. It was just really me having fun, which I do want to do more with the OmniSub series. I think what ended up happening happening was I veered away from the f start of my channel, which was just primarily just I wanted to do a series with my friends and have fun with it. Um, you know, but that didn't end up working because they were busy. We didn't have recording times. Plus, I couldn't record their audio at the time because the um, program I had to record the Xbox didn't record Xbox Live audio so I couldn't after I recorded the a few hours of footage with them we couldn't there was no audio from them you could hear my audio because I recorded it separately but um their audio was not there and then one of them didn't have a computer to run Skype and all that so that never ended up happening but um I originally started the channel to have you know fun with friends that's where the Trolling with John series came about was um he's one of my, one of my, was one of my best friends in high school so we just decided to play the game together and just mess with each other which is fun um, I'll admit but um ever since then my channel's been in, I've been keeping the mantra of oh I really need to keep my channel professional you know so people subscribe which has kind of kind of worked in a way ever since Unleashed Season Two has started I've gained a just from season two videos, not including the stuff I do with Dolan and Kondrick, um, those videos have, or the, the Omnisauce videos have gained me a considerable amount of subscribers, but at a very, very slow rate. In fact, there are still some, some videos of Omnislabs that have like eight views, when compared to like some of them that have like 50 or 40. I guess it's just in the titles and stuff. Um, I did it again. <laughs> I said um. And with that, it's kind of like, you know, that point on my channel, I wanted, I was just having fun, like recording. And then after that, I started, you know, building things. And I owe a lot to Klaus, actually, because he introduced me to Richard, who, and we started Omni, and Richard Perp and I started Omni Slabs. So I owe a lot to Klaus because he was the first YouTube friend I met, like person from the YouTube space, or the whole world, community of YouTube, which is really cool. He was the first one I met, and before that, all I found were like kids breathing into microphones, which was what I started out as. I was a f I was 15, I was had a really bad headset, 
and I decided to record a whole three episodes until I realized I want to get a microphone, which is the same microphone I have now, which is really cool. I just added a mic stand to it. So let's head, um, screenshot. Okay, so let's head back to the surface right now. <laughs> um, let me find the surface and I'll be right back, guys. It's been fun talking. <laughs>